back with another video folks where I'm going to show you how I create drama in my food photography images, hopefully giving you guys some ideas to take away and use in your photography. So before we get started with the lighting setup folks, we'll walk through the gear that I'm using. I've created a really simple setup for this shot. It's a very basic set, but shooting on a really lovely textured background. I'm shooting on the Nikon Z6 24 to 70. I'm gonna be firing wirelessly. Normally I will shoot tethered, but for the purpose of this video, it allows me to move about, gives me a bit of freedom. I'm just gonna fire it wirelessly and pop the images up on screen so you guys can see them. The lighting gear that we're using, I'm using the City 600 from Pixar Pro. We're using the City 300 Pro. With, fitted with the optical snoot and I'm also using the Pika 200 um, and that's going to allow me to create the drama in this image that I like the look of. Now normally with full photography you want the really soft light, you want a big window light source but I'm specifically shooting a bit more of a dramatic image in this shot because I really like a little bit of drama in my food photography. So we're going to get started and I'm going to start with the City 300 Pro. We'll switch that on and this has a great modern light on it which allows me to see where the light is going to fall and that's ideal because the optical snoot that I have fitted to the 300 Pro you fit gobos to that and that allows you to project shadows and patterns over your image um, a really handy tool to have if you want to see more of a video on that I'll pop a link to a card above you can go and check that out where I go in depth on this so you can go and check that out but that basically what this is going to do is give us a nice strip of light coming across our image I'll take a shot I'll pop that up on the screen so you guys can see what that looks like so as you can see from that shot, it's just giving us a nice dramatic line coming across. Now I can focus or defocus that shadow to get it, the lines as hard or as soft as I want. But as it is, we'll leave it like that, that's just nice. But you can see obviously the rest of the image is really dark. Now I've specifically used that image first, because that's how I like to work. That's where I kind of want to direct the line of light coming in from. But I want to really lift the whole image up now. Um, I want to lift all of the shadows and give the overall exposure a good lift as well. So to do that, I'm going to be firing the City 600, which is fitted with a standard reflector. And that's basically going to be firing against my white uh, backdrop here. And that's a great tip, actually, if you're out shooting somewhere or if you're in your home and you have a white wall somewhere, bouncing that light off that white wall makes this small light the size of this wall and allows you to create a really nice soft light over the subject that you're shooting. You can do that in portraits product photography and food photography so a little tip there folks and it's really handy and it really allows you to get a nice even spread of light coming over your subject as well especially how I've got this set up here but I'm going to go in depth in that in another video so we'll take a shot with that and I'll show you the effects of that light and the City 300 Pro and see uh, see what that's like so as you can see that just lifted the whole image and now you can see the beautiful textures on this backdrop but obviously the problem we've got now is obviously the food the hero part of the shot is just it's in shadow, we need that lifted, we need that lit. So to do that, we're gonna be using the Pika 200. Now what I've done with this, I've got it actually fitted with a snoot, but the size of the snoot is actually too big. It's actually spreading light everywhere. And I just want a little pool of light just on top of the food here and on top of the, the water to give it a little bit of glisten and obviously just lift the whole thing and pop the colors and make that stand out in the image. So I'll take a shot, I'll show you exactly how that looks. So as you can see there, that's just highlighted the hero part of the image. The food in the bowl now is just pops out and obviously it, that's the first thing you're going to look at. But the overall image is just full of drama and intrigue. You know, where's it sitting? Is it the light creeping in from a window, from a doorway? There's just a lot of intrigue and obviously it tells a bit more of a story to the image. And I love creating images like this. A little bit more dramatic and a little bit overall more of a moody type of shot. Hopefully you'll be able to take away a few ideas, lighting ideas that I've used in this setup to use in your own photography. And if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I will be back with more food photography um, lighting ideas. So like I say, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to check out any of the gear that I'm using, links will be in the description below. So with that being said, I will see you folks in the next one. See you then.